Salt Lake, the, the season that they gave up only 20 goals, their defense was bar none the best in the league and probably the best we've ever seen. This was a team with, with Olave and Dorchers that could defend set pieces and crosses as well as, if not better than anybody in the league. To me, it's that trinity. It's Ramondo, Olave, and Borchers. It's just, just sort of this rock right there in the middle of the field that people just cannot put the ball past. Sure, the wingbacks have been great. Beckerman's been great, you know, playing cleanup, but it ends with those three. There's no way that you're going to be able to achieve a number anywhere close to 20 goals allowed in a season unless you have not only a, a goalkeeper and a back four that are completely in sync and completely comfortable with each other, but really an entire team. They have a keeper who absolutely fantastic at organizing his defense uh, and one of the best pure shot stoppers that we've ever had. And they have a midfield that all tracks back. What Real Salt Lake did in 2010 to only concede 20 goals in a season showed that their core group of defenders had taken the confidence from winning the MLS Cup and translated it into this coordinated, wonderful backline that just moved as a unit. Teams in MLS have a lot more attacking talent these days. It's going to be hard to keep your goals against at 20 or below. Teams will allow 26, 27, but not, not 20, not again. 